Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kitty and I'm so happy that you're here. <laughs> In today's video I have built three habitats for my Kevlar Zoo and I pumped up my staff village. <laughs> I started with the habitats and the first habitat that I'm building right now is for the bongos. And I love bongos, I like their deep brown, brownish reddish coat and they have also some subtle stripes in it and they're also quite big bigger than the average antelope and the sad thing is that they are almost endangered by habitat loss due to deforestation and they are also hunted as a trophy animal due to their lo large horns and i like those horns i i think they are so beautiful but they have to stay on that on the animal not on on anyone's wall i i just can't understand why people would like to have dead animals in their house just for decoration um anyway in this habitat i've made a custom shelter it's a very simple shelter but i've put it on the steam workshop for your use and do you know that bongos like to eat charcoal from burnt trees <laughs> that's insane right <laughs> It's, it is believed that they use this as a source of salt and minerals. But I think it's still crazy to eat something that is burnt. <laughs> uh, the next habitat that I've built is for the Nialas. They are just as the bongos a antelope, but they are much smaller and their fur is, is a bit paler. And they also uh, need a lot of water, they drink da daily, so they always live near a water source. So it's just too bad that they can't reach the lake the lake or, or the river behind the habitat. Um, I've tried, but I couldn't fill the lake as high as it was uh, at first and, and so my boats were floating above the water. And that is also the reason why the terrain of the Nile monitors isn't smoothed out in the water. And yeah, it's a, it's a bit sad, but I tried everything and it just won't work. So. If you have the ultimate tip to solve this problem, then please let me know in the comment section. <laughs> so, the third habitat is for the Nile monitor, as I said. And um, I forgot that they swim a lot and that the guests can't see them from the path. So I've made an extra viewing point, but I haven't record, record that part, but it is included in the pictures at the end of the video. The Nile monitor is a lar large reptile and it is not endangered, but the fun fact is that they are causing the crocodile and alligator population to decrease because they are so effective at robbing the nests of eggs and hatchlings. Can you believe that such small animal could do that? I would be so afraid if I was near a crocodile or an alligator. <laughs> and. Um, in front of the three habitats I used my custom-made information board. You can find that on the Steam Workshop as well. The only thing you have to apply is the TV. Um, the covers for the donation boxes can be found on the Steam Workshop as well, but I didn't ma make them. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Uh, the Star Village you'll see me working on a bit further in this video is made of made off camera um, but I pimped it in my stream by adding some decorations and foliage you can find this village on my steam workshop I didn't upload the habitats to my steam workshop but if you're interested just let me know they have a null barrier at the back so you have to replace this barrier or you have to create a sort of lake so your animals can't escape so we are at the end of my talking. I hope you like this video. If you do, then please hit the thumbs up button. You would do me a great favor. If you want to see more, then you're free to subscribe or you can come say hello at one of my streams at Twitch. I hope you all have a nice day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!